everyone, Shawal Masari here, part of the digital engineer team for the Nevada Digital Learning Collaborative, and along with my incredible colleague, Christia Osborne Preston. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and introduce you to Wakelet. So what exactly is Wakelet? Well, it's an online curation tool. Wait, it's a free online curation tool, which makes it even better. And it can be used for collecting evidence, collecting resources, lesson planning, and even student portfolios. So this can be an incredible tool if you are planning with a colleague, especially remotely, and you want to share resources that you both can have access to. So how do you get started? Well, what we'll, I'll do is I'll walk you through what it looks like, and then I'll open a tab and actually demo it. So the first thing you would do is type Wakelet into the search bar, and then you're gonna see the green rectangle in the center, and you're gonna click that sign up button in the center of the page. Now, you're going to need to sign in with an email. You should use your school issued email unless your particular school district is giving you different directions. So definitely check with them. Once you have an account created, you're gonna go ahead and select to make a collection. So this is showing that I have my account created. And then here it's just saying, okay, you wanna go ahead and create that collection. Now you can add a picture, you're gonna add a title and a description. So Maybe I want to go ahead and do lesson planning with a colleague to get started. So I could go ahead and type that in here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and insert media. It can be a URL, text, a YouTube video, tweets, images, PDF files, files from your personal or your school Google Drive, or if you're not a Google school and you have Microsoft OneDrive, you could use that as well as Flipgrid video. So it's extremely powerful. It does, it's different than Pinterest where you have a board and you're pinning pictures because what that's doing is it's going ahead and sending you to a specific link where this is the actual file. So it's what makes it really powerful. Then once you have that finished and you want to go ahead and collaborate with your colleagues or your students, you would click done. You're going to click share and it defaults to private, which is really nice. So as you're building it, it's not automatically out there for everyone to see. So you'll change the permissions on um, so that you can share it. And then look at all these great ways that you can share it. Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Twitter, Remind. You can go ahead and copy just the URL and share it. You can export it as a, P as a PDF, or you can embed it into your website. So what I wanna do is go ahead and demonstrate this. So if I open a new tab, and what I wanna do is go ahead and search for Wakelet, and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And so here's that green rectangle I told you about. So you're going to sign up. It's free. And you're going to want to use your school email. So I have a Google account. So I'm going to click continue with Google. And I'm going to use my digital engineer email. So I'm going to click on that. And it'll take a second, but it's going to go ahead and merge. So I just have to be patient. And look at that, I've created a Wakelet account, okay? It even has a um, visit this remote learning guide that you can check out. Now here what I have is my Wakelet handle. I could change that if I wanted. And it goes ahead and it uses my profile picture from my Google account. So I can click create new collection. I can go ahead and add a cover picture and I'm going to choose one from a library. It goes right to Unsplash, which are free photos that you are have permission to share. So I will pick one that I like and I can click on it. So there I have my cover image and I'm gonna say 
lesson planning for the grade level and I can give it a description. So resources to use as we teach remotely, okay? And now what I can do is go ahead and here's that screen I saw. And let's say I wanna add a URL. So I'm gonna pull up, I love better lesson. So it's just wanted to make sure. So it's betterlesson.com. And here we go. So now I have that resource right there. It's still giving me a tour. You're welcome to do it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I got it. So now betterlesson.com is a phenomenal resource. So I can click here. I can go ahead and add all sorts of information that I want to share with my teaching partner. So now what I want to do is I'm going to say done. And what it's going to take us to is this Wakelet Surf School. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this because this is a phenomenal resource as to how you can use Wakelet in the classroom. So if I click Visit Surf School, it says, look at all the different ways people are using Wakelet for lesson planning, like I mentioned, educator portfolio. So I actually used that this spring. I had to interview and I, I, I couldn't do an in-person interview, so I was able to create a Wakelet collection of my portfolio. Um, different resources that you can use in terms of sharing content, and then Wakelet for collaboration, so you can have students submit assignments, they can do a class research project, classroom discussion, uh, student portfolio, student resource, so it will automatically do that, as well as you come to download the educator's guide. So phenomenal resource for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back home, and here is my collection that I created with you, and I wanna go ahead and I wanna share it, and I wanna share it with a colleague. Now notice it's saying, hey, wait a minute, it's private. And so uh, my permissions are public, which means the whole world can see it, or unlisted. I typically choose unlisted because I'm not necessarily sharing information with the entire globe. So I always like this. Now what I can do is I can easily copy and then go ahead and paste it into an email, share it with my colleagues, or if I wanted to, I could tweet it out. Um, I could send it on Remind if you're, if you're at the colleague level if you're using Remind. So many great resources. So I highly recommend this as an incredible way for you to share information, to collect information, because we're all having to pivot and teach completely differently than the majority of us have our entire careers. So this will be an outstanding resource. If you have any questions at all, here is our contact information. You are more than welcome to email us, ask us any questions. We would be so happy to help you. And I really hope that you found this helpful and that you ride that wakelet wave and you go ahead and see the power of it in the classroom. Thank you so much.